hello, I still exist. <laughs> Sorry about, you know, radio silence, as it were, but bye. Welcome back to Ramblings with Rebecca. I'm all cuddled up in bed with a large, obvious comforter. Because um, I got into London yesterday at around 2 a.m. And then got up at 6 a.m. to get the 7 a.m. train back to Edinburgh, whereupon I went to meeting, class meeting, meeting. <laughs> Anywho, I'm not done for the day, or they're about wrapping up some paperwork, <laughs> and then probably going to crash fairly soon, even though it's only 8.15, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. I've had a wonderful time in Sweden, uh, I was at Stockholm this weekend, and the weekend before, this is embarrassing, oh, oh, no, no, that was still that weekend, I don't remember, I was doing something, there was a reason I couldn't <laughs> vlog. This is so embarrassing. Um, this is what happens when, like, Europe weekends. You just keep going places. Um, anyway, oh, that was oh, that was Norwich. That was Norwich. I was giving a lecture. There we go. Um, went back to old digs, University of East Anglia, to give a lecture, and then had a wonderful weekend um, with the family I used to nanny for. So that was all delightful. Anyway, um, but it's back to Edinburgh and back to a very sudden realization of ah, essays and dissertation. It's time to start. I have three essays that are due on the 22nd of April, uh, so just under a month now to write those up. So we'll be going through those topics and chatting a little bit about my essay ideas. And then also in the process um, of starting formally on my dissertation, uh, topics have been assigned supervisors allocated. Um, we had to have an initial meeting and research write up um, in the next week ish. Uh, so I will be looking at the Red Sea, Dead Sea, Conduit, Canal, whatever else you'd like to call it, project, uh, which has been in the works for a long time in various formats uh, as far as research goes um, and then also actual funded studies around feasibility and po you know political meetings and such. Um, th essentially, the Dead Sea is dying. Ha ha ha. Um, except not really ha ha ha. It's very unfortunate. Um, water loss, really fast evaporation r rates, um, you know, in unsustainable draining um, for all kinds of purposes, etc. And the water level is just t constantly declining. Um, sinkholes um, are popping up. Um, so it's you know, like what used to be water is just like pulling out and the ground is just collapsing. So there's large pothole like things, except, you know, they're meters big and not in roads, although sometimes they are. And then it's really exciting. Uh, anyway, so the Dead Sea is dying, causing a lot of problems for humanity. And then also, actually, the Dead Sea is far from dead. It's got really interesting stuff in it that doesn't exist anywhere else. Um much of it is not actually living <laughs> but the minerals and everything are cool and there are some cool um kinds of organisms that only hang around in there um so something we don't want to die um it's something that we don't want to kill as we're doing right now essentially um there's been a proposal around for a long time to build some kind of canal drainage device that brings water from the red sea you know a bunch of miles south totes it up and dumps it in the Dead Sea to raise the sea level. Um, it's not the same water, obviously. <laughs> water from the Red Sea is significantly less salty um, and that kind of thing. But the idea is that we at least would get the water up. The mineral levels would start to stabilize better than an alternative. Uh, Israel, Palestine, Jordan have been talking about doing this perhaps together for a long time. Um, would the route go through only Israel, through Israel and Jordan, uh, through just Jordan, Palestinian territories, what, what, what? Mm -hmm. Who's it going to cross? Um, is it going to involve desalination and water supply, hydroelectricity? These kinds of questions. Um, so several years ago, the World Bank funded a feasibility study around projects um, and like potential um, routes for the actual pipeline. Proposals have been made. In December, uh, the governments of Israel, the Palestinian Authority, and Jordan all signed an agreement about moving forward, but now not quite sure exactly what is going to move forward and how. Uh, so my dissertation is going to be looking at legal issues around the environmental dump and human rights in the area of construction and what the legal obligations are and what legal roles are for each of the governments and groups involved in the project. Um, lots of different topics and issues there, all international law stuff, 
More to come later.